goodness! Is that you, Cloud? City folk are so sophisticated. Can only imagine what their lives must be like. Hmm. Hmm. A soldier. And you are? Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Should you need my help, just say the word. I've been working on some new techniques. We're all thrilled to have you. Ah, hello there. All our rooms are reserved for you, Shinra boy, so take your pick. You'll find them just up. Huh? No. Cloud? My, my! Get a load of you! And you've only been away a couple of years! Traveling with the Sephiroth now? Okay, Mr. Big Shot. Traveling with the Sephiroth now? Okay, Mr. Big Shot. are so sophisticated. Can only imagine what their lives must be like. Ugh, the survey team is the coolest. Man, why didn't I enlist like everyone else when I had the chance? A day. Who was it that used to say how scary the military was? I have the perfect scarf for Sephiroth. Can look so handsome in it. Oh my god, Mom! You told me you made that for Dad for your wedding anniversary. Chance. 
sure to rest up tonight. Got a long day tomorrow. I gotta catch a glimpse of Sephiroth. Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Shinra? Oh, whoops. I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How oh, you've grown. I must say, you look dashing in that uniform. You're so cool. You're so cool. Gonna beat those monsters? Gonna beat them? You're just... You look so different. You a soldier? You a shoulder? You're just... You look so different. Gonna beat those monsters? Gonna beat them? So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, and all that. Uh-huh. You might be there. Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. my room? I did. You went through my stuff? If that's your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. Yeah, me neither. Come on, Cloud. I know you better than this. Went through 
of my stuff? Did you actually play it? Thought about it, but no. Did you actually play it?
where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit, you're a merc of many talents. Imagine what their lives must be like. Everyone else. 
else when I had the chance. Be sure to rest up tonight. Got a long day tomorrow. I gotta catch a glimpse of Sephiroth. Then I stop by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. I don't think so. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? But most of them had to do with you. Sorry. We won't push you. Thanks. Sorry. We won't push you. My dad died when I was a kid, so after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time, and last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. 
I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Troubles will be a thing of the past. Since we heard a survey team's Want to join us for some zonga songs? Oh, here off duty. Isn't that nice? Ever since we heard a survey team was coming, we've been working our fingers to the bone. Join us for some Zonga size? 
Hey, bro, let me get a good look at that sword. out with everyone just for a bit could you keep up press your arms to your ears and show me your palms keep those fingers straight all the way to their tips Picture an angel descending from the heavens. Imagine her reaching down and gently clasping both your wrists. Feel her lifting you higher and higher as you stretch and stretch. That's right. Just a little further. You can almost touch the clouds. She's got you on your tiptoes. The stars are in reach. Slow breaths now. And after counting to ten, shake, shake, shake it all out. Excellent work. Let's take a short break. The body needs time to recover from its adventures. Moving on. Pose two, the stone bird. Ready? Let's... Sangha! Lift both hands straight up. Arms to your ears. Just like that. Keep those palms facing me. Now bend your right knee and lift it. Focus on your core now. Don't let your legs do all the work. Extend your foot. Like the heron in the river, poised to take a step. Hold it there. Become as immutable as a statue. Don't forget to breathe. First, breathe out. And in. And now, your wings have returned. Beat them with effortless grace. Take to the sky and fly into the sunset. Remember, visualization is key to achieving results. Count to 10, and shake, shake, shake. Excellent work. Let's take a short break. The body needs time to recover from its adventures. You're doing well. Now let's finish strong. It's time to assume our final pose, the scales of justice. Let's... Zonga! Arms in the air once more. Squeeze them tight against your ears. Next. Slowly lower and spread your arms wide until they're parallel to the ground. Now bend your left knee and slowly lift your leg while focusing on your thighs and core. Keep those arms straight and balanced like a scale. Now stretch. Now close your eyes and feel the angel wings that have sprouted from your shoulder blades. Dick to the sky with them and ride the wind. Imagine flying to the house of a faraway friend. Treat them to a hearty greeting. Long time no see. And of course, remember to smile.
once you count to ten. Shake, shake, shake it all out. Excellent work. Let's take a short break. The body needs time to recover from its adventures. All right then, let's get started. And where better to begin than with pose one? The Seraph, are you ready? Mind. <laughs> Takes me back. Lift your arms straight up and reach for the sky. Press your arms to your ears and show me your palms. Keep those fingers straight all the way to their tips. Descending from the heavens. Imagine her reaching down and gently clasping both your wrists. Feel her lifting you higher and higher as you stretch and stretch. That's right. Just a little further. You can almost touch the clouds. She's got you on your tiptoes. The stars are in reach. Slow breaths now. And after counting to ten, shake, shake, shake it all out. Excellent work. Let's take a short break. The body needs time to recover from its adventures. Moving on. Pose two, the stone bird. Ready? Let's... Sangha! Lift both hands straight up. Arms to your ears. Just like that. Keep those palms facing me. Now bend your right knee and lift it. Focus on your core now. Don't let your legs do all the work. Extend your foot. Like the heron in the river, poised to take a step. Hold it there. Become as immutable as a statue. Don't forget to breathe. First, breathe out. And in. And now, your wings have returned. Beat them with effortless grace. Take to the sky and fly into the sunset. Remember, visualization is key to achieving results. Count to 10. And shake, shake, shake. Excellent work. Let's take a short break. The body needs time to recover from its adventures. You're doing well. Now let's finish strong. It's time to assume our final pose, the scales of justice. Let's... Zanga! Arms in the air once more. Squeeze them tight against your ears. Next. Slowly lower and spread your arms wide until they're parallel to the ground. Now bend your left knee and slowly lift your leg while focusing on your thighs and core. Keep those arms straight and balanced like a scale. Now stretch. Now close your eyes and feel the angel wings that have sprouted from your shoulder blades. Take to the sky with them and ride the wind. Imagine flying to the house of a faraway friend. Treat them to a hearty greeting. Long time no see. And of course, remember to smile.
once you count to ten, shake, shake, shake it all out. Excellent work. Let's take a short break. The body needs time to recover from its adventures. All right then, let's get started. And where better to begin than with pose one? The Seraph, are you ready? Lift your arms straight up and reach for the sky. Press your arms to your ears and show me your palms. Keep those fingers straight all the way to their tips. I wonder if I can knock off for lunch yet. Soldier, thought you weren't heading out till dawn. Be sure to rest up while you can. Ooh. Hey, good to see you, soldier. You can leave this gate to us. Nobody's getting through on our watch. It's too dangerous to go it alone out there, soldier. You ought to get a good night's sleep so you're ready for tomorrow. more often. Don't be a stranger now, Cloud. I know your mother would be happy to see you much more often. So, like, how many soldiers know who's first and who's second? Make sure you're good and rested. Do our village proud. Oh, I'll be telling everyone how I welcome the great Sephiroth to town till the day I die. Do our village proud. Oh, I'll be telling everyone how I welcome the great Sephiroth to town till the day I die. Now that 
Sephiroth's here. Those beasts are toast. Sephiroth's at the inn. I tried to sneak a shot of him, but my hands were shaking. You want me to take your photo? Sorry, but I can't afford to waste my film on... Uh, who are you again? Just crazy to think that Sephiroth is here, in our town. We'll make sure the survey team gets a heaping helping of our best produce. I'd wager soldiers eat more than your average Joe. Excuse me, this is my third load of laundry today. The Mako Pipeline's a lifesaver. I'd never be able to get all this done without it. Medgar wishes its water tasted as much as ours. Good. We need to get this finished ASAP. You never know when they're going to attack us next. Backwater is an understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. They got anything worth eating? So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? You know, uh, I've been thinking about joining the military for some time now. If you need help, just say the word. Look at all this mud. It's never gonna come off. Quite the track. Oh, 
Do you know the legends about me? Back in the old days. Hey, are you the... It's been a long time. Let's go! 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 Let's go!